Welcome back to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. Uh, my name is Miss Francis, and I have two molds that I'm going to pour today. I had some other little projects over there, so I got some leftovers. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's too that light's too bright. Always too bright. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy, this is the big Groot. And then I have, and these were from Mr. Ellen and Miss Jeannie. So I got to put them in the blessing jar. This is the globe with the wicked looking hands holding it. Or the crystal ball. So I'm going to pour those two today. Uh... <laughs> it's not really been a good day starting off so far. Okay, so what I want to do, and I was trying to come up with the color that was pretty close to the colors of Groot. So I went to the um, Sigwong alcohol inks that I got from Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie and picked out the closest color I thought that would match. So I'm going to try, I haven't tried those yet other than on coloring rocks. So I want to try it and see. I picked out I picked out light brown metallic alcohol. So I'm going to put it in here. There may not be enough there to pour with. I had some left over from my other project I was doing, which I've poured before on my channel, so I didn't want to bore you yeah, pouring more knowns because I got a couple more to pour. So, okay, so let me get you down. We're going to mix up what I got here with this alcohol ink, which really isn't getting. I don't know how many drops to put in there. And this may not be as dark as I thought it was. Okay, well, I may have to darken it a little bit. Come on, mix up. Kind of a kind of a sandy color, and, and you know, it Groot's kind of a sandy, kind of a little brownish, grayish. Yeah, maybe I need to put a drop of gray in there. Just a. I mean, I thought one drop would do. What other color do I have here? Sand gold. Mm, it's not much darker than that. Let me go just a little bit darker. Hold on a second. Let me get the gray. That's bronze. There. Gray's pretty dark. I don't know that I'm, it'll work, but if I just put maybe one drop in there, it'll darken it up just a little bit. It's one I haven't opened yet because I haven't used it. Okay. I hate these little things because I can never. I try not to put a hole in the side of them. Okay, let's try maybe a drop or two of the gray. Need four drops. Mm. Not sure it darkened it any. They don't have a black. I do have a black alcohol ink, but I kind of don't want to darken it too much. I'm not even sure this is enough to pour the whole thing. Really. 
Let me, let me try a couple more drops. Maybe five more drops. I wanted to darken it a little bit. I'm sure this is not enough to pour it, but I, I need to use this up before I mix any more up. So let's see. We'll see. I kind of like the color. I mean, it's a little more transparent than I wanted it to be. I guess I could add some Lutz Resin Black Mica Powder to it. Yeah, let's just pour it and see. I'm pretty sure it's not enough to fill the thing. So, let's see. I'm going to leave them set here because they're going to set on my mat. Alright, let's slow up because I want to, I want to squidgy it and bounce it some so there's not a bunch of air bubbles in it. Alright, let's see. I don't think there's enough, but we'll see. Might be close. I think I might be close. close. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Yeah, those alcoholics don't don't seem to. They're pretty, pretty transparent, which I didn't think they would be. I'm pretty close to having it all filled. I think I may call that good. And of course, I have to mix up some for the other one, which I think I will pour some alcohol in it and see how much that one takes before I mix any more up because I don't want to I don't want to over mix let's see here that looks pretty full well, I'm not going to do a lot of moving around on it no because I pretty much don't don't want to do that now as far as the winners everyone has gotten in contact with me except for um, Sandra Hitchcock I have not heard from her, but she has until Friday of next week to let me know. Everybody else has, you know, contacted me, told me what they wanted. Um, I do have one who is out of the country, so I will work on getting her an Amazon gift card because... To ship something out of the country would probably be more than more than I want to. I, I don't mind sending them prizes, but and I'd love to send something that I made or something that I purchased for a prize, which I do have items I purchased for prizes. But several people have already told me that they want something I've made. So, 
I'm okay with that too. Um, I think I will pour one for uh, at least one of them because she wanted a certain color and I don't I don't have anything in that color, but I do have something for one of them. She asked for something specific that I had made, so that's that's what I'm going to give her, because that's what she asked for. And none of them, you know, none of them said anything. None of them said anything about what they particularly liked uh, or if they done any crafts. Um, you know, I originally had bought some stuff for crafts, but I did not. However, no one, no one opted for that, so I'll save it for other prizes then, you know. There's going to be some other drawings because I've got more people in the um, sugar skull that I need to kind of try and get out. Try and give, them, give some of them gifts and clear it out some. But, yeah, I'm making a mess here. Woo! Okay. Okay, so I'm going to jump off real quick because I need to mix up some more epoxy for this other one. And I want to pour some alcohol in it and see see how much it holds so I don't over mix because I don't have any other projects to do. And I may, you know, I don't, I don't really want to set the group off the mat. I was going to leave him on the heat mat right along with the other one. So see if I can set him up there a little bit. Maybe set him out of the way and uh, work on this one. I got I need to clean my mat again. I did clean some mats the other day when I was down here. Okay, we're going to set Groot out of the way there. And let's run the lighter on him so I can so I can pop some bubbles here that are coming up. We'll see. I don't know how he's going to come out, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to jump off. Mix up some more resin as soon as I find out how much this one's going to take. And I'll be back. Alright. I am back. I got my epoxy mixed up. I'm going to dump some of this glow-in-the-dark stuff in. I don't have much of it left, so I'm dumping it. I'll try and get me some more next time I go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have any more of it. But you never know. I'm going to mix that in there a little bit. And then I'm going to... You know, Gina likes glow in the dark. So I need to put some glow in the dark stuff in it. So let's see what I got as far as... Uh, purple. Because she likes purple. Okay. Do I have it? Oh, I got some glow in the dark purple left. I don't know if I have any more up there or not. Okay, there's that purple. Let's see if I got some more up there. Uh, yep, yeah. I got some more Let's Resin purple. I just used Roxy Epoxy and boy, I made a mess there too. Shoo! 
I didn't realize I got it all over the table instead of in the cup. All right, let's try this one. All right, then I'm going to add this uh, Cimarron Metallic Additive Violet. She, I made her several things in this color and she likes this color so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go crazy with it because I would get some other purple in there so hopefully that will be enough and that will work I'll leave it down because i got to write all this information yeah This will turn into a pretty purple. Provided I can get it mixed up, and I don't want to mix it on there because I'm going to end up um, <laughs> spilling my group that's up there. Because that every time I move any slightest towards that leveling board, I mess that root up. About spilling. But I want to leave it on there because I'm going to turn my heat mat on so I can get those done. I'm just trying to make sure I got all this purple mixed up. I don't know how glow in the dark it'll be. Though, you know, I could dump some of those glow-in-the-dark stones or some more glow-in-the-dark powder in there. I do have some more purple, I think. Yeah, that's good enough. Because I want to kind of color it some after it's done. I see it's got, like, rings on its fingers and the fingernails. I kind of want to color that for her after I'm done with pouring it. Turning my heat mat on and hopefully they'll be done within a couple hours. Um, those are, I don't know about, well maybe. Maybe I'll put my thermal cover over again but after the last fiasco on that thermal cover I'm a little leery about putting it on there because I don't know how it got stuck in the mold because I made sure I had the molds in far enough that but these are tall so I don't know if that one will work all right so here's the purple I have and it's got glow in the dark and all in it so we're going to mash it around first before I give it a little I don't want to have too much there because I'm afraid I'm going to I want to make sure it doesn't have air bubbles trapped in it but I don't want to tap it over there because I'll end up spilling that Grood all over the place. Okay. We tapped it. So, let's just pour it real slow. I'm going to call that 
done because it's kind of no kind of okay so let me get it Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, man, that looks like that's leaning really badly, and it probably is all to do with my mat. That's the problem with this thing. Yep, that's the problem with it. Yeah, that thing's leaning. Yeah, darn it. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't want it overflowing. And it's still going to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit out of it. I think. Just a little bit. Simply because I don't want it to overflow all of my. Matt. It's still running that way. I don't know what to do except for maybe put a Maybe put something there, like a stick. All right, let me find a popsicle stick. Because for some reason, it wants to... I don't know why it's doing it that, but just on that one side. Oh, bless me. God bless me. Alright, let's try it that way. Now it looks like it's level. Okay. So my mat is... I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. For two hours. And come over here. Where I have... Some crosses here. And... I don't know if you can see them that well. And finish pouring those. I've been pouring some in whatever leftover colors I had, and I see one's overflowed already. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know how I got it overflowed, really. I mean, it was just level. Now all of a sudden it's overflowing. Scrape it over into that other cross. And I'll wipe it out. some chair out of my way so I don't roll over it. Oh. 
I didn't spray them with alcohol either. I've been trying not to spritz my stuff with alcohol as much. Well, since you had the vacuum chamber, shouldn't, I mean, there'll be a few little bubbles, but not a bunch. So, I don't know why that one did that. Baby upstairs. Okay. So this one, I'm still going to have some more purple left over, probably. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I'll have to find another mold then. I kind of wanted to put this one up there for my go-to for a while because I'm trying to make him wolves and animals all the time. <laughs> so I thought, ah, oh, you know, I got this one. Let's let's pull it. Yeah, I expect some of them to run over anyway. About par for the course for me. Okay, I got some purple left. I don't need any in there. Let me see if I can find a mold that I can use to pour the rest of that purple in. Um, yeah, usually. I think I put all my skull molds up. Let me grab a skull mold. I'll be right back. Probably not enough to fill it, but hey, I can start anyway. I can start on it and then I'll fill it with a different color. little glow-in-the-dark things that sunk all to the bottom. Yep, they sure did. A little bit of stuff that didn't quite... Let's see if I can mix it up a little bit before it goes in the skull so it's not in there in chunks. Thought I had it all mixed.
for sure that a lot of that was that glow in the dark stuff that I put in there. Those little what was left from what I bought at Hobby Lobby, which they didn't have more than one container of it, or I probably would have bought more. All right. Well, I will be back hopefully within two, three hours to unmold this stuff. All right, I'm back. Let's try it again. <laughs> Let's see if they're ready to come out now. I need to get some alcohol down in there. get more down in there really because I don't think that's enough to get it out Okay, here's that one. Pretty cool, got the, all my stuff, all my glow in the dark stuff fell down. We'll make it glow here pretty soon, in a few minutes, as soon as I, see if I can get Groot out of here without too much of a hassle. He's cute. He's cute. We're going to put some eyes on him. Right there. Some eyes. So there's the ball. I did paint the little skulls. I do want to paint some more on like the little rings on the fingers and skulls on the fingers and the fingernails. And here's Groot. And I'm going to see if I can find him some eyes. Now, I can't remember where I put my eyes at. I had them out not too long ago. I had them out. I just don't know what toad I stuck them in. just take a picture of that one once I put the eyes on it because yeah, I'm not sure where they're at. I know where I did have them but they aren't there now so means I had them out recently putting eyes on something and I don't not sure where I put them. Recently, where did I put them? Hmm, that's a 
very good quartz stick. Steampunk stuff. There they are. Alright, let's see what we got. Oops. And two back. Mm -hmm. This might be too big. They actually kind of look like what he had in the picture. gonna do it. I just don't know where the other one is to it that matches. Uh, I like that one. Well, those all got two big little bitty dots in them. That one has a bigger eye pupil than the other. We got some green ones with big pupils. Was it really? There we go. That is a matching one. Now. Yeah, my glue's down here. And I may have carved it out a little bit. So it actually lays flatter in there. Otherwise, I don't think they'll, otherwise I'm not sure they'll stick. I don't know if I can do it with this. Where's my... Where's my deburring tool? Well, it was up here. Darn it. Hmm. tools, but it ain't in there. <sighs> it's got to be here somewhere. There it is. Let's see if we can take his eyes down a little bit. Man, he did have a big old air bubble right under his chin. Messing it up. Darn it. I'm not trying to mess his fingers up, but I am. I can't go the opposite way. Could, maybe, if I could get in there. I just need them to be a little flatter so that the little eyeballs will stick. Something up. I don't think I might have gotten that one flat enough. Not quite the eyeballs for them, but they're close. Closer than what I could get, anyway. I just got 
to get it. Carved out right so I can get the eyeball in there. It's still a little soft, so now's the best time to to actually do it if I'm gonna do it. And I don't I don't really want to what I'm doing is I'm taking this to burn tool and I'm flattening his eyes like I did that one. And it's about as flat as it's gonna get really. this one and then this one's a little harder to get to because of the hand and I don't want to mess up his head trying to get that out of there I was hoping I could get it with the deburring tool but maybe Ooh, his hands really soft huh that's weird I mean, he is still a little soft, but I didn't think his hands would be soft. Yeah, I might be able to get it with this exacto knife. Without tearing his hand up. Just get it flat. his eye all the way out but I'm going to have to get it flat enough for that one to stick well, that's about as flat as they're going to get alright so I flattened his eyes out I don't know why his hand's still soft. That doesn't make sense. But I flattened his eyes out. So now I'm going to take this glue, which is sticky, and put some glue there. Hopefully, hopefully, this is so hard to squeeze. Get some out now. down there for a minute and let his eyes have a chance to stick okay. all right now I want to get my paints and my chrome Did I bring oh I didn't bring my chrome markers Yes, I did. I brought them back down. Okay. I need a uh, silver because I already started it. I started doing the skulls in silver. I guess I could do the ring in gold. Let's see here. Not with that one though because that gold is about out. I'm going to find my other set.
No one I already have it open. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the fingernails yet. Yeah. I kinda wanna paint the fingernails too. Maybe a black. But I was gonna go over the rings with gold. Maybe the skeleton heads on there though. I wanna do those in silver. Feels a little soft too. I don't I don't get it. Really. I don't get why they're soft. there, but I can't see it very well. Alright. Oops. It's all over there. Still feels a little sticky on the bottom. I didn't think I'd have as many. I got a few air bubbles too. I don't know why, but I do.
I need my silver. I did the skulls in silver. So I want to finish them in silver. And my silver one seems to be fine. It's just the gold one that's ran out. Let me get the little skulls here. to tell that's what it is, but it is, it's a skull. Okay, I had some skulls over here too. Tell their skulls, but they are. They're skulls, but you just can't really tell it. Guess I might want to go over my skulls down there at the bottom, too. Yeah, my skulls at the bottom don't look they were a little hard to get to, really. And it still feels very soft around the bottom. I might have took it out a little too soon, but That seems hard enough, it's just the bottom's a little soft. Okay. Okay, I think I want to do Hmm. Some colors. Oh, no. Did I miss that one? No, I just didn't color it. Let's find some colors here. Not purple. Happens. 
these are acrylics, so. And some of them I haven't even used yet. Need to get that one coming down. Ooh, that was quick. I have a blue one here, for sure. if I want to do the fingernails in red or not. I was thinking black. Did I not get black out? Guess I didn't. Pink ones. Give me the red. I don't want to paint the fingernails black. Well, I'm having such a hard time trying to get those pens.
trying to keep it steady so I can paint it without getting it all over it. Yeah, I gotta get my UV light down too. I mean, Groot's not glow in the dark, but this is. And I did some crosses over there. I poured them with the extra. So they are UV also. And I might go around the decorations around the wrist. I don't know. Right now I'm just doing the hands, which is hard to see. And there you go. I have to get my UV light out though. All right, come on. Drop the one underneath there and I can get it out. These are the brand on the acrylic paints. I got them from Timu. So, all right, let me get the UV light. And we'll, let's see if we can get this to glow. Okay, get it plugged up. gonna work. Maybe if I said I like this. Okay. I need to leave the eyes out. Ooh. Because I'm gonna put these in bags. 
because I don't usually leave them, leave them out. I like to kind of try to put my molds away as soon as I'm done making them. lights out here. Turn that one off. Before we turn it off, here's what here's what the group turned out like with the eyeballs. I like him. It's cute. Okay. I actually have some crosses over here that are glow in the dark also. So we'll set them under there. Come on. Oops, glow in the dark crosses. So they do have a little bit of, they have a little bit of uh, that glow in the dark stuff in them. Some of them do. Let me see if we can get it to glow. Oh, I'll try this side. I mean, my light probably needs some new. I need some new. Oh no, you don't. It needs some new stuff for it too. I did put, put quite a bit of glow in the dark in there. I would think that it would glow pretty brightly. I'm not sure it's going to. Might need a whole lot more light. Alright, let's see what we got here. Turn the light out. And there we go. We got some glow in the dark crosses, which you can't see very well, I'm sure. But it's definitely glowing. It just needed, a, it needs some more light. Okay. Alright. That's it for that. had a cross mold that I got from Timu, so a few of these have some air bubbles, but they're kind of cute. I mean, they got some little designs on them. Okay, well, let me get my shout out list done so I can shout out Wanda's Blessed Creations. Stacy underscore the crafty cat, Rez C. Liz, India Brady Art, Art by Me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol Creations, uh, Paranormal Girl, Roseanne's Crafting Corner, Coral Marines Resin Art, Bex Crafts Designs, Loose Screws Craft, Artsy Doodles, 
uh, Amy, what was it, Amy, mm, I knew I would forget that one, Amy's Resin Art, and who else, um, there's somebody else, Crafts with Carla, and that's all my shout outs, um, I have heard from every one of the winners except for one. So Sandra Hitchcock, you won the 500 subscriber giveaway and you had till Friday, next Friday, to let me know what you would like. Um, everyone else has emailed me and told me what they wanted and I'm getting those boxes ready and getting ready to send them out next week. So, just just to let you know, Sandra, I'm still waiting to hear from you. My my email is always down in the description. So, email me and let me know what you'd like. Okay, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.